So I'll go ahead and do that. It didn't make it on there, but because it's racing a stink up, there isn't a Ted. So um, we had great mouse surgeons of some uh, uh, Cape Horn Road explaining that he's smelling a sewer smell across the street on the north side. Well, our sewer line runs down the middle of the road. We don't have any sewer over there. But yet uh, he did a little more digging, I guess, than we're right, Ted. And he found a couple of septic tank lids on the north side of Cape Horn Road, and we have nothing over there. But what I did do in my research was I went into the old drawer plans and found out before they connected to Baby Water and Sewer District, they had a two and a half inch PVC line running through their, up to their drain fields up to the hill. There is no record of any tanks being there. But right now those tanks are there and they're oozing effluent. And that's why I was thinking we should probably address it sooner than later. Um, now the question is, is that it's actually, I believe, that area is all Chris Hansen's property. So we don't have, I mean, this was all disconnected before we took it over, as far as we know. But because we're baby water and sewer district, they're coming to us and saying, is this ours, what do we do? So um, Ben had a suggestion of contacting the property owner. Bob, you suggested the health district maybe, but, uh, you know, it's kind of like, we, it's not our area. We don't know how we take accept responsibility other than the fact that we are providing sewer services in this area. And again, the north side of Cape Horn Road, there's no building over there. Or anything. You know, it's a very wet area. And in fact, before I got here, the previous operators, I understand, dug it up looking for a leak of the water main that runs on that side of the road. They never could find it. So are you, are you saying that the tank isn't ours? Well, that's we don't think we don't think it is. We don't have any record of it. Yeah. And and we, there's any, not even the, the drawings there's any record of, not even the old Dromore drawings. Yeah. It just shows a line going across there, so we don't even know what it is. So there's no idea of what the source of the effluent is. Right, no, it may, maybe it, uh, who it's knows, maybe it's, it's something, maybe it's something that wasn't abandoned properly, and now the wet hillside is seeping into it and making it ooze up. Uh, we do need to do something, because the regulators, if you're the sewage still, the regulators are going to come to us first. So. I mean, that's why I recommend calling can you hold a PhD to see if somebody had a drain field at one point in time and had a septic tank for that, right. that, they, well, what, that they permitted? In the, what they did, they did have a drain field up higher and they had dosing tanks up even higher than that. So all this showed right there is that in that area, a two and a half inch PVC line was pressure sewer was pumping up to that dosing tank way up on the inside. PhD would have issued a tank set permit for that if it wasn't a commercial one. Even back in 1970, you think they got the records about it? Anything, anything <laughs> More recent than 1972, they do. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyway, we don't need to handle that. I guess, well, I guess not. I wanted we, to... we need to do something. I'll put it on the agenda what? for. Be wise to. Yeah. Somebody's staff to talk yeah. to Chris Hansen. Yeah. 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 We can handle this just as a Okay. That's fine. Thing. Okay. We'll, we can. We'll we may have to come back to the board for approval to spend a ton of money. <laughs>